Oh my god, what is this? I can't see anything, bro. Oh my god. Thank god he's just missing shots. Oh, he spoke too soon. He stopped missing shots. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to the summoner playthrough. We're here in hard mode. There's a blood moon going on. Great. I love it. So you already know what the goal is. The goal is to kill the summons. No, that doesn't make sense. The goal is to kill the new mini bosses. These things are going to beat my ass. I should have made this arena a little bit bigger. No, I still have the chance to. Ow. I still don't have the firecracker whip. We got to fight the wall flesh again this episode. But I don't know if I should fight him with the spider minions or if I should use the imps. I have no idea. But let me add a little height to this uh, makeshift arena here. My blood moon arena. Because you definitely need an arena for the blood moon. Uh, hopefully these are even i can't tell i don't know i'm just gonna build across let's see if we can get a blood eel was it a hemo goblin a hemo goblin something like that hemorrhage is that a hemo a hemo goblin there you go that sounds right you know what else would be nice a trough we still don't have a trough is that the bride i should probably kill her oh look at that she dropped a bloody tear that's uh what you use to summon in the invasion or the uh blood moon but let's see just give me give me one of the hard mode enemies please I, I don't care which one just give me one of them oh oh Oh, there we go. We got the Hemo Goblin. Oh, he's in here. He's in here. Can he reach me up here? Oh, that can definitely reach me up here. Where's all my summons at? Hold up. Desummon, resummon. Get on his ass, boys. We want us a kill today. Get him. They're not doing too good at getting them. Come on. There we go. I'm starting to see the damage. I have never killed a Blood Moon enemy. In all the playthroughs I have going on, all like three of them, aka the day one playthrough we did, and then I have a multiplayer playthrough that I was doing with a, one other person, and I've never killed one of these guys. They're just tough. That's why. They're just tough. Oh, I also have the Leaf Wings, if you couldn't tell already. I'm gonna just like stay up here, see if he spits at me or something, but uh, so far he hasn't spit at me, so we're just chilling. I don't even know if he spits at you. Now, they consider this not a mini boss, which is kind of weird. The dude has 15k health. You tell me he's not a mini boss? Because they listed it as there's two new mini bosses, and it was the Blood Eel and the uh, Dread Nautilus. But, like, come on, no love for the Hemo Goblin? The Hemo Goblin? I'm, I'm assuming it's Hemo Goblin. Because, you know, Blood Moon, Hemorrhage, unless you say Hemo Ridge. No, no, it's definitely, it's Hemo. <gasps> he's dead. He didn't drop his item. You love to see it. What the hell? Oh, it's the Dread Nautilus. We're not living. We're not living. There's no way. What is this attack? I'm in a box. Oh my god, what is this? I think we could take on the blood eel. The blood eel is the only other mini boss that I've been close to killing besides the hemo goblin right there. So let's see. Let's see if we get it. A little bit easier to dodge than the dread nautilus. That was my first time fighting the dread nautilus, like ever. And uh, it's kind of scary. Those attacks are really scary. You need a lot of room. So maybe I gotta change up my arena. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got him. Let's uh let's play this safe here. I don't know if I want a ballista, probably a ballista, honestly. Since he's a segmented boss, a segmented mini boss, we could probably take him on with the ballista. But yeah, this episode, I got some plans here. Uh, one of the main plans being get the blade staff. But the problem is it's a super rare drop and a super rare enemy. So you can see it's gonna be kind of hard. It's gonna be kind of hard. I've already killed like probably 20. I said like 30 or 40. It felt like 30 or 40, but it was only 20 that spawned. In reality i think because i put most of the clips in the end of the last episode so it's kind of bad it's kind of bad it's so weird how they summon you have to like keep moving uh just like the uh oh that's gonna be a hit just like the chaos elementals the only way those guys spawn is if you keep moving on certain blocks like pearl stone you have to keep running around on pearl stone yeah it's gonna be a little tough to do that with enchanted swords especially with a bunch of different enemies taking up that spawn slot like it could be very tough we're almost done killing the blood eel look how like easy this is compared to the other other boss like i think the hemo goblin's even harder he didn't drop shit of course not why would he we got another frog staff it's kind of funny how often these show up now got 69 master bait you love to see it uh-oh <laughs> not you again i don't know the attacks okay okay this spinning attack that's the part that's scary like how the fuck do you dodge that what the hell how many times do you spin there's no way too much health what is it, a bullet hell you're a mini boss what is that what is he doing i think the dread nautilus is our only way to get another summon oh my god uh he drops okay bye bye it drops bats a bat staff something like that but uh, i don't think we're gonna be beating them anytime soon but there you go there was a blood moon another one i caught two mithril crates what, what am i getting or a calcum sweet i'm over here just trying to get some uh queen bee kills and this is gonna be a terrible night the blood moon's rising nice it's pirate time everyone let's hope that we can actually do this event here and get 
the pirate staff that's the goal or at least the black spot either either or would be fine i do want to rematch the wall of flesh but i just wanted to see if i can get the pirate staff first we'll see we will see i guess but yeah i killed like 10 10 12 enchanted swords still no blade staff i had the gnomes down there i had the torches occasionally i'll pop a luck potion when i'm killing one it's just been bad man it's been bad and i got people telling me on the last episode telling me in my discord they're like yeah i just got it i killed one and i got one thanks for telling me bro but let's get to it the goal here pirate staff black spot and then if we get any of those accessories that's just a bonus so like what biome torch do you use in the purity biome you just use regular torches is my luck going up what is that parrot sitting on all right we already got a cutlass maybe the gnome is helping us out here we're gonna have to fight the pirate's curse summons get in here please help me fight the pirate's curse now if i'm correct unless they added it in finally the pirate's curse isn't in the bestiary let, let me let me look real quick let me send some summons out there pirate's curse we can just search look there's no pirate curse in the bestiary it's weird i don't know why there isn't it's cursed skull but no pirate's curse it's it's an enemy so why is it not in the bestiary i don't know we got our first dutchman what's up man can i hit him from here i don't know let's let's go ahead let's send the boys out here target a cannon and then we're gonna send them in and then just let them feast plain and simple i'll sit in here for like five minutes waiting for one to spawn in you need to be past 50 percent for one to spawn in and then there needs to be enough room for it to actually spawn in it's like 40 by 40 tiles right here i'm feeling it black spot one in four chance we got it sweet the black spot look you can see it right there perfect i'm honestly happy with that we're still gonna try and get a pirate staff boom bada bing our first pirate invasion done is that a captain oh it's not captain all right it's all good boys just go ahead and clean up everything maybe we'll get a pirate staff right here boom bada bing boom bada, boom bada bing stop saying that all right we didn't get a pirate staff it's all good it's all good we did end up with some goodies and i went and snatched the black spot in the middle of all that but yeah we got the black spot here we got a greedy ring sweet it's honestly perfect for this event because i can just pick up all the gold while i'm in here you know we are in version 1.4.0.5 and they took out the seashell exploit <laughs> So that's why I was telling everyone, get your gold in there. If you're one of a person that hates farming gold in Terraria, especially in master mode since you drop all of it, get your gold in there before it's gone. We got the black spot. We got the flying Dutchman relic. We got an arcane or we got a gold ring. Honestly, not too bad of a haul for the first invasion. And we got more to come. But uh, the black spot, one of the best mounts in the game. Honestly, might be the best mount in the game. I've been told a couple of mounts are really, really good. But this one, infinite flight, super fast, is great for fighting mech bosses. And yeah, this really all there is to say about it hold up we got a goodie in here i didn't even notice it i don't know how long it's been sitting there godly it's a sign they want me to succeed in life except for the blade staff they don't want me to get that we're just here chilling killing what was this the second invasion third invasion oh was that another ring what was that no i don't think it was oh don't touch me we see the pirate staff out there hold up hold up we gotta watch out for this guy gotta dance around him it's just like the the hemo goblin all over again hemo goblin get him out of here all right can i pick this up without dying let's see i don't know kind of missing some health already oh i didn't even know he was there oh i didn't even know he was there boom i'm in there again okay we done did it baby oh we got look a mechanical eye too that's very nice but look we got a godly pirate staff let's get it let's get it oh and look who it is look who it is all right let's put our new pirate staff to the test here one how many can i summon five five something like that this pirate invasion though super successful we got pretty much everything i want gold ring okay we didn't get a discount card so maybe not everything but we got a gold ring we got the pirate staff we got the black spot is like it couldn't have gone better honestly all right i have no idea how a wild flesh fight is gonna go let's do it though let's do it which summons are gonna be the go-to here who knows point at his eye and let's see if my summons do work or if they don't do work i don't know uh, i'm dressed up as a pirate now you love to see it yar har har you know what i'm saying wait this ain't a pirate this is a fucking cowboy i was dressed up as a pirate but then the clothier he was selling cowboy stuff so i decided to dress up as a cowboy what do cowboys say yeah there you go i'm actually out of mana it's kind of crazy where are my summons at? are they doing damage yeah they're doing damage it's pretty much the same as the original fight is just uh i do a little bit more damage this time in terms of summons and the goal is just keep backing up let the boys do their work and just keep backing up i'm not even all the way zoomed out i have really good accessories as we can see here i upgraded this to stinger necklace put on these the the star veil and the charm of mist hey calm down bro he getting a little he getting a little crazy all right come on firecracker give me a firecracker i don't think the firecracker drops inside the treasure bag pretty sure he just drops it straight up I think. No, if you're not gonna give me a firecracker, at least a summoner emblem. 
Hey, we got a summoner emblem. Okay, I'll take it. Boom, bada, bing. Firecracker whip. Sweet. We got everything I need. I don't even have to fight him again. Summoner emblem, firecracker. All right, so I've been told something here. We updated to 1.4.0.5, something like that. I feel like I said an extra number. And there's a new event called the Torch God event. And I kind of want to test it out and see what it is. Because uh, it's kind of weird that they just randomly added in a little event. A little funny haha -ha event. Just out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm trying to find a place to go. Please don't kill me. So we have to do it underground. Let me find a path underground here safely. I'm almost dead already. And we have to place 100 torches. Let's find a nice open area though, because I heard that you have to like duck and dodge in this event. So if we place a hundred torches near each other underground, then it starts the event. And then if we survive the event, we get a little special sum sum. So let's see it in action here. I'm being assaulted by a lot of enemies. I'm trying not to take damage because if this event is actually really hard, then that could be a very big problem. But there's supposed to be like boss music that plays and everything so that we know when it starts. I'm trying to put all the torches on just like two sides because uh, I don't want to get fucked. Is that not a hundred? That feels like a hundred. Oh, that's definitely a hundred. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. How long do I gotta do this for? Give the jukes. Out. Okay, bad jukes. So first attempt, first attempt here. Let's let's see if I can do this. Yeah, definitely a bigger area would help out a lot here. I'm about to die already. Boom. You all seen the jukes? Oh, 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 oh. Got hit. Don't worry about it. A little burn. Okay. It's a little bit harder than I thought, but look at that. Rumbus skull was crushed by the torch god. Okay, so we gotta do it until all the torches are turned off. Man, we we're kind of close. We were getting shot at by torches that weren't even in this area, but we were kind of close. Okay, now that I understand it, let's min max this. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna put all the torches on one side. Good plan, right? Let's hope that it works. It's like 100 torches. This looks like almost 100 already. I don't know. Oh, there we go. All right, so a majority of them are on the right side so we shouldn't have to worry right we shouldn't have to worry we'll see an occasional one come from the left uh and an occasional one come from the bottom so that's really all we gotta worry about but we should be good we should be good i didn't even have to do too much in terms of min maxing okay just keep getting hit good job uh i have my rod of discord ready that's the strap we're gonna fly up and then teleport down let's fly up very slowly there we go boom Ooh, that one got a little tricky there because we saw some shots from above. Be careful about dashing, as you can see there. I can't see anything, bro. Speak about seeing. Oh, and there we go. Just like that. Torch God's Favor. Consumable. Unlocks an ability. Toggle to the left of the inventory. When enabled, normal torches change according to your bind. So what? I just go like this and these all turn into desert torches? Let's see. All right, it's gone now. Uh, these torches look the same. <laughs> ah, I see. So when we place these torches now, they turn into corruption torches, I guess, since we are in the corruption. Uh, I thought they were going to turn into desert torches. I thought it was going to make all the torches that were already on the wall just turn into desert slash corruption torches but i guess not so actually on the left of all our stuff here which i'm assuming is what it was trying to say but my uh big thick skull couldn't figure it out is where the ruler block swap all that is biome torch swap on very very cool so if we're in different biomes example hell do i place demon torches i do and we turn it off boom we place regular torches now let's say i'm here in a hollow biome i have it off boom we place a regular torch turn it on boom we place hollow torches okay now i understand it and honestly it's a nice little feature boys and girls hold up let me pull my mic out it finally happened oh my god ignorant yeah i feel pretty ignorant farm i don't think ignorance is the right adjective i feel pretty stupid sitting here and farming this for years i just don't know what to say of course it's broken why why would it not be broken everything i get is broken but we have the luck potion on we have the biome torches we have the gnome i literally came fully prepared thank god that took so long i also have a greater luck potion that honestly was way easier to fish than getting the staff itself but oh my god i don't think you guys understand you know i was kidding around it's like 10 p.m right now i'm being a little quiet but i've been farming this for like the last two three days and you know when the person commented like good luck gamer is you gonna need it i was like man i got all these rare drops pretty easily in this playthrough so far this damn staff was the hardest staff to ever get, or the hardest drop I've ever gotten in Terraria in general. And I've, I've had some hard stuff. You know, I got a lot of live streams of me just playing Terraria, doing playthroughs of Terraria. And I've, I've had some trouble farming things in the past, but this staff, this shit almost drove me insane. Cause the only way for the enchanted swords to spawn in is if you're moving. See, I'm moving, same thing with the chaos elementals. The only way they spawn in is if you're moving. So I, 
What are the fucking odds? Oh my god. But yeah, I, I tried to set up a minecart track here. I think this worked. I, I couldn't really tell. Like sometimes they spawned, sometimes they didn't when I was on the minecart track. But this was literal hell. I would recommend getting the gnome, getting the biome torches, and then obviously the luck potions. Oh my god. We did it. I can finally leave. I've been here for too long. But first, before we do leave, it's time to test out my new staff. So we look at the blade staff here. 10 summon damage. You may be like, what? Gamer, is you sat here and farm for something that does 10 damage? Well, it summons an enchanted dagger to fight for you, ignores a substantial amount of enemy defense. Don't let their small size fool you. That ignoring defense against enemies that have a lot of defense, it shreds them. I think it ignores 25 defense and then plus this right here. So we're going to be ignoring 30. This thing is pretty damn insane. A lot of, I've seen a lot of people recently like, oh, it sucks. It only does a small amount of damage. We'll put it against an enemy that has a high amount of defense. And that small amount of damage will not matter. I've seen these type of weapons in other games and they're amazing. So uh, let's let's go ahead and test it on something. What am I going to test it on? I don't know. Let me see if I can find like a stone golem or something. All right. Decided that spending time looking for a stone golem wasn't going to be the way to go. We're here. Nighttime. I got the clothier voodoo doll. Let's beat his ass. Come here, sir. Please spawn in skeletron but yeah skeletron is a high defense boss so this is gonna be perfect go ahead focus his head and, or his hands i don't know what the hell just focus his hands i guess but look at this to shredding them as you expect a hard mode thing to do i should probably get some whips in there honestly to help him out a little bit go ahead get the other hand i ain't worried about no skulls hitting me unless i die from it then i might be a little bit worried but it's just eating through skeletron this item is recommended actually to kill dungeon guardian with uh, because of their penetration that they have i should probably like, put that accessory back on but look at this they're just eating through skeletron they're eating through them i didn't want to kill skeletron so i get the pet so please mr skeletron drop the pet that would be very nice and kind of you and boom bada bing he's dead did you oh, my boy chippy's couch Hey, yo, Chippy, I'm on your couch, bro. What you about to do? All right, we're here. It's time to fight the twins. I want to attempt to fight a boss just to see where we're at, you know? Where we're at in terms of damage. Oh, let me make sure summon another enemy here or another uh, summon. Yeah, let's get it. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know the dodge patterns. I know one of, one of the dudes dashes more than the other. Something like that. One's faster than the other. I don't know. I don't know my uh, terraria biology boss biology <laughs> but we should be chilling if we just don't get hit too often we got our blade dudes i don't know if they're the best to use for this they're probably not for being honest so let, let me let me change it up here let me summon in what kind of summon in? six pirates six pirates and then i should probably use the ballista okay not looking good just got hit a bunch of times there is a strat for the twins and i don't know the strat uh, because I usually don't have to put in too much effort to kill these guys. Thank God he's just missing shots. Oh, spoke too soon. He stopped missing shots. Yeah, the pirates don't seem like the greatest either. I'm gonna die. This this went terrible. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're ready yet. Probably because I don't know how to fight the twins at all. But there's our stance on bosses. I just wanted to attempt a boss in this episode. Uh, I know we're supposed to fight Queen Slime. But we'll see what will happen. There you go. Now I can end the episode. Because I didn't feel right if I didn't fight a boss this episode.